Most of Antigua's visitors arrive in the capital, St. John's, on giant cruise ships like this. Fresh off the boat, Heritage Key greets travelers with a mix of high-end shops and brands you may recognize. But for authentic local flavor, walk a few blocks and you'll find this taxi stand and locals playing a game with African roots called Wari. It's an easy game to learn, and um, if you have to watch me step by step, you'll see exactly how we do it. Easier said than done. <laughs> but Antiguans take pride in sharing their unique culture and history from the many fruit stands featuring Antigua's famous black pineapple. It's very delicious. To ambitious restoration projects aimed at preserving Antigua's historic buildings for future generations. Government House is a national treasure undergoing a major restoration. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Government House. We are greeted by Ann Jonas, assistant to the current Governor General, for a tour. The goal of the restoration is to return this entire two-acre property to a location where persons can come and discover the history and heritage of Government House, which of course will be the history and heritage of Antigua and Barbuda. To talk more, we sit for tea with key members of the project and their excellencies, Governor General Sir Rodney Williams, Lady Williams, and the Baroness Patricia Scotland, Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations. Okay, that's a lot of titles, but the shorthand is that everyone at this table is deeply invested in this project and the future of Antigua and Barbuda. My wife and I decided to place a sharper focus on the whole question of history, heritage, and education. When we thought of doing the main building, there was a benefactor who thought that we should knock it down, and I, I couldn't get much sleep at night because my wife kept telling me, when you knock buildings down, you destroy the history. So to preserve the history, an all-star international cast of experts was assembled, including New York-based preservation green architects Barbara Paca and Philip Logan. And this was the residence. This and was this where was, they, they lived. lived. They lived here. They had their families here. And then they would walk down and host big parties and celebrations. And for every international consultant, there is a local counterpart to ensure this is a sustainable project for Antigua, powered by Antiguans. Local architect Vernon Challenger. It's not an everyday job because restoration is different from renovation. This is a once in a lifetime kind of situation. We owe it to those who've gone before us, but we owe it far more to those who will come after us to preserve this beautiful building with all its complexity for the next generation. From this distinguished tea party, we travel cross island to the most famous party in the country. Charlie Heights opened on November 1st, 1981, so we are as old as the nation. Valerie Hodge is the queen bee here, and we wanted to know what it's like to host the hottest party in town. It's pretty awesome. We have great cooks. The ambience is great. The steel band is the best. Perched high above English Harbor, Shirley Heights also boasts the most beautiful sunset on the island. So what is it about Antigua that makes so many people want to come back? We're lucky. Nice people come to Antigua, and so that brings out the nice in us. The high tea experience we had may soon be available to the public, without the Governor General in attendance, of course. The West Wing buildings and restaurant at Government House are expected to be completed in March. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night.